In this video, we are going to explain how to measure the soil resistivity from two different methods that we will see below, which are the Wiener method and Schlumberger method. Well, first of all, let's define what is resistivity. The resistivity is a characteristic property of the material. It's a measure of material's ability to oppose electric current. We can calculate the resistivity of a material from its electrical resistance and its dimension, its length and its section, from this expression, and is expressed in ohms meters. Resistivity is strongly affected by the content of electrolytes in the soil, its humidity content and even its temperature. Several processes are used to determine soil resistivity. The most widely used involves four electrodes with two possible methods, Wenner method and Schlumberger method. Let's start with the Wenner method. Measurement principle of Wenner method is based in four electrodes that are set up in line in the ground, equally spaces at a distance A from another. As we can see here, a generator is used to inject a measurement current between the two outer electrodes, called current electrodes, and we measure the voltage between the two internal electrodes, called potential electrodes. The measurement instrument used is capable of injecting the current and measuring the potential value and calculate the resistance. Then, resistance value can be used to calculate the resistivity under the central point at a depth of 3 a fourth. We must take into account, in order to apply the equations, that A should be at least 4 meters and the depth of the electrode should be less than 1 twentieth A. The measurement principle of the Schlumberger method is based on the same measurement principle that the Wiener method. The only difference between them is the positioning of the electrodes. Now, the distance between the two outer electrodes is 2D, and the distance between the two inner electrodes is A. We measure the voltage between the inner electrodes and, as a winner method, calculate the resistance value, and that value can be used to calculate the resistivity. This method saves considerable time in the field, particularly when you want to carry out several soil resistivity measurements for a profile of the terrain. The extra time saved is due to the fact that the only two outer electrodes need to be moved to obtain a new measurement at a different depth, whereas all four electrodes need to be moved at the same time with the Wiener method. Although the Schlumberger method saves time, the Wiener method is better now and more widely used. The mathematical formula necessary is also much simpler. Nevertheless, many measurement instruments include both formulas for instant calculation of the resistivity values with either method. Now, let's make an example of Wenner method. So, for our demonstration, we will place the electrode separates 4 meters and no more than 20 centimeters deep. In this case, we first determine the distance A and from it, the depth of the electrode. We connect the two outer electrodes in the terminals E and H, and the two inner electrodes in the terminals S and ES. Now, turn the instrument dial to set up setting. We start configured for the correct units of measure. Then, press display button. The unit of measure appears blinking on the screen. Next, turn the dial to the resistivity settings and to enter the spacing distance A, press the yellow button. The symbol second appears on the screen. Now press distance button. Use the up and right buttons to indicate the distance A, in our case, 4 meters. For saved configuration, press display button. Now we are ready to take a soil resistivity measurement. Push the start button and hold it for at least 2 seconds. After a few moments, the resistivity reading appears on the screen. 
in ohms meters. Thanks for watching and feel free to check our channel for instructional videos on other topics in electronic engineering.